Hi, Chris Lesso here. I want to share a super quick idea with you that I go over with myself actually every morning. And I've learned that tiny powerful things you do every morning that take like that can take like 10 seconds, but doing them every single day over a period of years and years can impact your subconscious mind and make amazing things happen. I think it's called the reticular activation system, RAS, where your brain kind of sees things that it's been thinking from that's been activated in the subconscious mind meaning if you are looking for a certain pair of converse or if you are buying a car all of a sudden you start seeing it every everybody's wearing those pair of shoes and everybody's driving that car that you're thinking of buying and it just you start seeing it in the world and this is the power of impacting your brain with something especially in the morning and before you go to bed. So be careful what you put in your mind right before you go to bed and right when you wake up in the morning. And you can actually purposely plant seeds in those times to get your subconscious mind working. So one thing that I do, it's really simple and it, it literally takes seconds. I just call it the four strategies. And I have a little thing in, in my Evernote folder and it's just my one page plan and my my mission and I just glance at it. it has to do with my family my work my my creativity my passion it's all there and I just I just look at it in the morning very quickly and part of it is what I call the four strategies and I just wanted to share it with you today it's really simple and really quick it's habits reflection clarity and mastermind habits reflection clarity and mastermind four things Four strategies and it really I, I just thought th these are the four things that are gonna get me to where I want to go and it could be my goals in drumming it could be my goals with my family life could be my goals with something I want to create pretty much with anything and these are I believe such a long-term goal again it just takes seconds but this over arcs an entire lifetime so let's just look at those things in, in a bit more depth. So habits, the tiny little things you create every day, the little things that you do. And I like to think of them as systems that kind of run on their own after a while from their own, their own fuel. Because once a habit is installed, it's actually harder to not do the habit than to do it, which I'm sure you can think of little things like brushing your teeth and just, just little things that you do that can be good habits or not so good habits. And there's a great book, I can't remember the, the author right now, but it's yellow and red and it's called Habits. There's a great book called Willpower as well. And that talks about how things are not often done by willpower because that's a finite resource. So really once habits are running, and it could be little things like drinking a certain amount of water every day or writing in a journal or just smiling more, just little, little tiny habits that over time really create unbelievable things over compounded over years and years and years such as drinking lots of water look what you know how will you feel when you're 80 or 90 if you do that over a lifetime many people that know me know i talk about something called the three minute rule with drumming and music but this could be with anything fitness or just anything that you do just doing something for minimum three minutes a day it's almost like you're tricking yourself you're gonna do it just a tiny bit each day. It's almost like a little game you play with yourself, but you try to get a little bit every day, and these are really the habits, and habits really create our lives and who we are. I think it's the bricks of the building of who we become in our character and what we create in our life. Second one is reflect. I remember Obama saying, former President Obama saying, I need to, take some time each day just to think. Now, you think you're busy. Imagine the President of the United States, right? <laughs> the the jam-packed schedule that he must have had at that time. So creating a little bit of time just to reflect, just to think and look back on things. I find with myself, I like to go, go, go. I'm, I'm, I'm a fast thinker and fast doer. And I, I really need to take just, just a few minutes sometimes to reflect put my phone on airplane mode and just and just create some space. So I, I, I talked about this in another point of how, how important space is. Your authenticity comes from that. 
your creativity comes from that and our insight and intuition comes from creating space. So this is really reflection and taking the time just to think and reflect. And this, this will dictate what our future actions are going to be. Because I think the more we, more we reflect, the more we can make better choices as we go. And the next step is clarity. Just being clear, creating clarity. And for me, a big, a big tool in clarity is detachment detachment, seeing things from a bird's eye view, not getting emotionally attached to things or seeing things too up close. I like to detach. And one thing that I like to do, like you can see my screensaver here, it says you could leave life right now. So one thing I learned was whether it's a screensaver or I heard this app called the death clock and it actually ticks down by the seconds your estimation of when you probably are gonna die. Most people live to be about 80 or 90. But keep your death up close. I think this, bring, this brings massive clarity. If you find yourself getting distracted or even sometimes when my mom calls and I'm, um, I find myself getting, oh, it's a, my mom's calling at this time, I gotta answer this email. And then to get the clarity, if I detach myself and I think, oh, what if, what if she died tomorrow? What if, you know, what if this was the last time I was going to talk to her? It brings massive clarity to the situation because I can detach. So then I'm able to be present in the moment and actually connect with those people in my life that I love and do what's most important. So seeing things for what they really are, detachment, clarity in our life, sometimes with the whirlwind of, of what's going on, it's hard to see what's most important to be doing at that time. I find it's a big challenge. It's something I work on every day. And the last one is mastermind. And this concept, you can read the book, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. It's an awesome life changing book. But the concept of like who you surround yourself with is who you become. You become probably the five people that you most spend time with. And even the five people that they spend the most time with, it all impacts you. And this is the phone calls you have, even even the, the, the people you watch on YouTube. You know, they, they might even be books you read. They could be long dead. <laughs> but to me, it's, it's the, you know, the people you connect with, the people you choose to spend time with, the people you let into your kind of bubble of consciousness. So mastermind. And I like to spend time with people that, that really push me to be my best self, to challenge me and to bring me up to to who I can best be in my and my true potential. And a lot of times that goes with seeking people out and, and paying them. I mean, last year I had a great session with a bass player in Toronto, one of the one of the absolute best. And I just paid him hundred dollars for the hour and, and we jammed and it was it was fantastic. And I look at that as the concept of mastermind. Like I want to be in close proximity with people that are going to kick my butt to be the best people I can be. And this is like my teachers, mentors, people I hang out with. It's, it's an awesome concept. So habits, reflection, clarity, and mastermind. Think of how those are going on in your life and which are the weak areas. And it's always in flux, always changing. And like I said, in the morning, I, I just kind of, I just glance at that and I, and it makes me think how I'm going to use those tools throughout the day. So see where the four strategies takes you and see if you could glance at it just a couple seconds in the morning, maybe before you go to bed, whatever works for you and see how it impacts your life and have fun on the journey. Stay the path. I'll see you soon.